as you sail along today. Several hours go by. It's just calm, quiet sailing. And another boat is making its way back the direction you came from. And again, they, they don't get too close, but they, they wave as they go by. They're also a river boat set up for traveling on shallow drafts like this. Any messages, anything you wish to say to them? Any questions? Warnings to throw? Okay. Should, should we be asking, because they're if they're coming opposite direction, should we be asking and exchanging, we came across a weird rock lobster, um, here's some extra because it's going to go bad, um, and then inquire as to if they've come across anything weird? I think that'd be worth it. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Right. Yeah. So they're going to move in, and uh, someone, oh, oh, shit. What? <laughs> what you call us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pardon me. He goes back. Hey, y'all. Hey, oh, shit. Oh, his banjo hi. starts to oh, How's your mama now? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we're making some greasy souffle over here, y'all. <laughs> Damn. Oh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. That's right. <laughs> but at least I can keep up with the Cajun yep. stuff. So anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh what where where are you headed? Where are we? Melitus? Is that where we're heading? Christopher uh, Rogers. Tavi. <laughs> we, we weren't Tommy. we weren't telling the truth. Okay. But uh, uh yeah, earlier we had said. I, I think, Mel I don't know. I think we said Melitus before. That sounds right. Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, is this all out? Is this all out loud, or are you having this, <laughs> this private is, discussion? This, I'm just is, this is Christopher. <laughs> well, I forgot to. We're use not. That. We're Sorry. not telling the truth. Did we one, say we were way. going to Melitus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're headed uh, Melitus way. Um, what about yourselves? Uh, um, well, we're headed up to Data. Um, we hear that there's. Some issues uh, with the river headed on into Akros's. Mm -hmm. We've uh, come across some interesting creatures that I don't think many of us have seen before, and the river is going the wrong way, so all sorts of fun activities. Interesting. Well, uh, they've opened up the port at Melitus, uh, but I've got to let you know, there's, there's apparently creatures of the bay are a little unhappy. They've, they've been having some issues with some of the larger creatures. No, no Same krakens, no krakens in the bay yet, but uh, <clears throat> there yet. have been some shipping <laughs> issues. So uh, be careful as you uh, exit the river and enter into the bay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your warnings. Uh, would you like some lobster? Um, a chunk of lobster this big. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> this is boulder lobster. It's bigger <laughs> than rock lobster. It's magnetite Death. lobster. It's magnetic. It's um, death metal lobster. <laughs> uh, any, uh, thank you. Any anything we can do for you? Um, I'm afraid we don't have much. We only have medical supplies. Uh, They're bound for Akros at this point. Absolutely. Do we need anything? No. I don't believe so. <laughs> Information is uh, one of the best items for trade. I'm sorry, you Safe can't journeys. kill Agrios. Look, <laughs> I've been keeping quiet. I didn't say anything. We're very May Thassa, May We're Thassa very keep you safe on your journeys. You Thank as you. well. Until you hit land, then someone else will keep you safe. <laughs> uh, are there any particular activities you want to do while you're on this boat? Uh, as mentioned last time, you've got a couple of days journey left on this river at this point. I feel like Ariada is like from her time asleep is just isn't inquiring directly about what happened, but it's just kind of like <laughs> watching people and just paying it like interest, like prime being kind of weird and everyone acting all strange and Tolly's disappeared and has gone off somewhere to be by himself and just kind of trying to trying to pick up the vibe without pulling anybody aside but just she's watching she's keeping an eye out for everyone's disposition 
Prime is actually spending a lot of his time on the side of the boat, uh, almost hanging over the edge of it, looking at the area where the damage was done by the giant lobster and fish people. But if people leave him alone, he's pretty much leaving everybody else alone. Is that damage that's going to like affect our sailing, or is no? It, just... it, it wasn't anything too material. I mean, you didn't okay. take much in the way of hits. So. Okay. Well, the day is going to pass as night begins to fall. Time is going to look up and go. I think the I think the boat is repaired. And then he's just going to go downstairs. Oh. Go look over the edge. And the boat looks to be in good shape. It's, uh, let's just say it looks well mended. Is Prime a caster of sorts? I suppose so. I assume that would be helpful for clerical duties in certain ways. Makes sense. Mendings. Well, if anything were to happen to himself, I assume he could use mending on his body. Mm. Hmm. Useful. Yeah. Is he okay? Um, <sighs> he's, um, he's figuring things out. I think he's, um, being presented with an opportunity to be something other than what he's been told to do and that can be very scary initially and uh, I think he's just not very sure of himself so uh, as he tries new things and does what he does I think let's just try to make sure we're encouraging and he knows that he's welcome and, and been a valuable asset to us but um, he was thinking about once we reach land, uh, returning, uh, returning home, which uh, I wouldn't stop him, but I don't know. I, ho I hope he figures things out. I understand how he feels. I remember being a teenager. I guess you could say he's a teenager. Did you have a hard time figuring out what your purpose was? Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, you have no idea. <sighs> really hard time. Hmm. Well, you should talk to him about that then. Or it sounds like maybe you already have. Little bit. Well, I appreciate. Oh, we got a little bit closer, but he's been a little sarcastic to me. Maybe that's his way of being close. Feels comfortable to do that with you. Hmm. That's a fair point. Well, I'm glad you're taking care of him. Yes, That's I really, suppose I am. It's really good of you, Agrios. Uh, Ariana's like wiping tears away, walking away. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if we should ever be on a boat again. It, it gets everyone <laughs> really riled up. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, well, um, that's good that you've been so confined. Goes to the the other end of the boat and just like stares off of the, oh. stares off. Oh no! Okay. 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 You know what? <laughs> no, no, it's, Ag <laughs> it's very funny to me. <laughs> Ag you know what? Agrios is gonna trot over there after. Her. Uh oh. Um, Literally trot. Okay. Well, Literally. continue, continue to uh, help your crewmates, then Agrios. I, I really appreciate that. And I know you had a Listen. a difficult day the other day so this is good that you're talking to people about this kind of thing it's what i'm here for i think ultimately helping people that's wonderful in my own way in your own ways yes well good i'm proud of you thank you i that's not something i usually hear oh well i'll say it more often then i you don't have to I appreciate that. I would be a bad captain if I didn't. Go take care of Ari. I'll um, 
I'll check on Tikaros, make sure everything's okay with the rudder. All right. He'll, uh, he, yeah, and he, tr he does trot after Ariana. <clears throat> uh, sorry, you was did. there something that needed doing? You doing okay? You all right? Oh, don't pull my lines on me, Agrios. Mm. I see your game. Well, what you sounds to me like you're avoiding the question. <clears throat> Never been great at dodging. Mm. It just hit very much home hearing about Prime not being sure of himself and not sure what he was supposed to be. And mm. While I feel I have a little bit more direction now, it's still a lot of questions. But I feel I'm not the only one. And it is encouraging having friends like you and all of the wonderful people on this boat to feel like I have that support. I'm usually on the other side of that. So thank you. No problem. I, uh, I always like to help support people. That's, that's me. That's really in, in my own way. Um, but, uh, ultimately, only you can find the answers you're looking for inside you. This isn't a, like, you're going to gut me to find the answers kind of thing? No, no. Uh, look, I know I've got the whole Mogus thing going on. Looks around a little bit paranoid. They're still on the water, I believe. So he's careful not to say anything too praising. <laughs> Here's the thing about Mogus. Mogus, to me, represents all the parts of our nature that we shove aside, pretend are evil. We ignore them and think that's going to help. But there are feelings deep inside you, bloodlust, the need for vengeance, a certain disconnect with the the systems of civilization and society at large. And I think it's important sometimes to listen to that voice inside you. A voice that outwardly we call Mogus, but it's just as much a part of ourselves. I would very much agree with that. Great. <laughs> oh, I hope you listen to that bloodlusty voice a lot more. I will do my damnedest, and she'll punch his shoulder, but like a little too hard, and ooh, grin. Ooh, oh, I like that. He slaps her on the back. <laughs> Almost goes over <laughs> the edge and has to catch herself. <laughs> no, not not back in not back in the water. She's gonna like walk <laughs> further into the boat. Ah, Wonderful. good talk. Good talk. You are getting very good at this motivational speaking thing. We should go on tour together. Ooh, there's an idea. Mm -hmm. That's a good so, gimmick. The, the assuming we don't, hero us. Oh, yeah. Assuming we don't kill each other first. People would also pay to see that, though. That's very true. Mm. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, that's a selling point. I'll, I'll write up the business papers. Yes, I'd better leave that to you. <laughs> She'll give him a gentle <laughs> nudge on the arm and head off to do rope stuff, whatever he'll, needs to be done. He'll, about. he'll <laughs> nod and trot back off to find something to do. Yeah, exactly. So I know Tikaros is, is uh, controlling the rudder at this point. Uh, Adrastos, what are you up to? Adrastos is uh, just kind of puttering about the ship, checking lines, you know, doing business, trying to stay out of everyone's way and very much keeping quiet and keeping to himself. Um, when he saw Ari go off, he was going to do something, but then he saw Agar suit. He's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, he's 
something is different about him um he's very not prime levels of quiet and reserved but he has quieted down a little bit um so he's just checking ropes and if if anyone like walks over to talk to him he gives a nod of like hello nice to see you and then walks away and very much like a cool no we're not we're not doing that you're not going to check on me i'm not in the mood kind of way as the sun goes down uh the moon has been waning over these last few days so it's not been quite as bright during the evening are you going to continue traveling or stop for the night captain <laughs> um well i i feel like every time we stop something bad happens <laughs> um i think maybe stop for the night but in, but stay on the ship and do watches again but if there are anyone who tries to approach us we just ignore them <laughs> all right very good so uh you find a good spot alongside the the river more up are you gonna get close to the shore center of the river what is your plan in that respect hmm. um yeah i guess get closer to shore you always want to be careful in case something happens Okay. about where we were um last time okay very good it, it was like 50 meters out i think so you get moored up everything is done uh ptolemaeus is uh spending a lot of time introspective downstairs so he's 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 kind of pulling an adrastos and a sleeping and a chahista he or, or uh, pardon me ariana and he is sleeping and you know everything else so Prime's going to come back up, uh, see if there's anything that needs to be assisted with on the deck, uh, and then he will go prepare food. Uh, you're having lobster this evening, apparently. <laughs> and uh, let's see, we'll do flaming lobster this evening, we'll do barbecue lobster the next night, you know, we'll come up with our seafood plan. So, meal is prepared, uh, food given out, and it is time for rest. So what are your watches going to be? I'm not sleepy. I'll take a watch. Okay. I'll either take first or last watch because I don't have dark vision. I also don't have dark vision, so... I will um, I will approach Agris and say, I'd actually like to have a word with you if you don't mind. I can huh. wait up with you if you'd like. Uh, all right. I'll so take last we'll watch. take last watch. Oh, well, or we'll take, take last watch, watch. Because I think Tikaros is taking first watch, so you I'll take, take first watch with her, I'll take last then. watch with Ag. I'll do a mid-shift with Tali. <laughs> <Here> we, <laughs> we will talk about many, many things you'll never find out about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First watch. While everyone yeah. else is uh, making for their rest, uh, please give me a perception check. Ooh. Wasn't that? That's the wrong screen. Fourteen. All right. Ooh, twenty-two. Right, wow. Excellent. As the the night begins, it's fairly quiet and maybe a little too quiet. You're used to hearing some kind of insects noises. There's some of that, but it seems to be more distant than the area you're in. Uh, it could be the disruption of, you know, there's still noise coming from your ship, you know, as as you're doing whatever in the evening. Do you have any lights on the ship? Any lanterns? Any candles? I would presume there's at least like a lantern on the center mast. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's up to you all. I'm just trying to figure out what the situation's yeah. like. So, okay. We probably have one that hangs and then one that's movable. Because mm -hmm. this isn't a big boat, right? No, it's fairly small. 60 by, 60 by 20, sure. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Cool. And yes. Okay. Ariana, look at this cool 
cool thing I learned. This is my dark vision. And Tikaros will like grasp her necklace around her neck, just kind of grinning at you. And she will say, light me up. And she'll create this little kind of 120 foot dancing light situation, which she'll actually bring together into like a, it says vaguely humanoid form. And she wants to make it look like a Drastos looking as vague, but as cranky as she can and just kind of float it in the 120 foot radius. Like, and so you can see what's oh, out there. Oh, nice. It's I like him yeah. walking around. Like yeah. Just, ah, like the mouth as open as it can be. That is very good. Yeah. I love that. Is that what dark vision is? I always thought you could just see in the dark, but that's what dark vision is. That's dark vision. Incredible. We've got dark vision now. I love that. That's so, wow. Amazing. We don't even, like, lanterns. Huh. Old hat. Who cares? Who cares about cares? lanterns? That's incredible. Wow. Where'd you learn that? Well, that's, that's the weird thing. I just keep waking up with all of this weird magic that I can just do. I don't know where it comes from, really. I think maybe Crufix? Hmm. I guess that's somewhat similar. I need to ask for mine, but I don't always, you know, sometimes it's just new and exciting things that I never knew I could do before. So perhaps you are a paladin of Crufix. Oh, I never thought of that before. Could be. You should, I mean, you've, you've been trying to, you've been exploring praying and exploring different elements, right? Yeah, yeah, I have. I, How's that going? Well, I feel like I've only seen this one thing and I've seen you go to the temple. So I want to find a temple on our travels somewhere. I think that would make things better. There are many answers at a temple. Yeah. I'll keep looking. Wonderful. Uh, we should keep looking out here. It's quite quiet. Yeah. <laughs> if the... Uh... If your uh, Adrastos figurine is, uh, is <laughs> circling at 120 feet around, at some point it's going to make its way around, and every once in a while in Revolution it'll go over the land a little bit because you're so close. And one of the walks as it goes across the dirt, you know, it's moving at a... How fast is it moving? Tell me how fast it's going around. Hmm. I'd probably make it slow like a prowling cat, like on a hunt. Like so it. it would go right. pretty slowly. As it goes across, the first time as you guys are chatting, you just see sand and everything. But another pass as it goes by and you look, you could have sworn you saw footprints, but you kind of looked over as it had gotten past that point on the sand. So it's now going around the boat on the other side. The wait, wait, wait. It makes its way back around. Can I move it back? Brain! Move it back, <laughs> she says out loud, and tries and to move the lights back. The waves from the river just kind of come in, and you see what appear to be footprints, and then they're washed away. But you get a glimpse of them for a moment. And Ariana, since you have the higher role on this, uh, when it's, your attention's directed to it, you see, and a horse, maybe? Footprints? I was muted. I, sorry, <laughs> I've been muting it on my physical mic instead of Zoom, and so I keep forgetting I'm muted. Anyway, um, uh, Tikaros, do you see that there? There's hoof prints. Oh, are they hoof prints? I could just see some marks in the ground. It's what it looks like. Like, like that thing we've been following? <gasps> oh, no. Uh -huh. I'm I'm not good enough with tracking to know the difference between those and what you see, but those are those are definitely hood prints. Oh wow! So, what if it's watching us right now? It's very possible. Um, can I divine sense? It's only sixty feet, but we're about fifty feet from the land, right? You're, yeah, you're you're close enough to the shore. I think you would be able to cover cool. some of that area if you wanted to. Cool. Um, so as long as they're not behind full cover, mm -hmm. um, 
I believe I can tell if they are fiends, fae, or un celestials or undead. Mm -hmm. Undead. Yep. Uh, as you reach out with this and your magic touches out, you don't really pick anything up for a moment, but then you you get a flash. But it's it's a very odd type of sense. Like as you mentioned, you normally would get a sense of celestial, undead, fey, but in a single point in a rock outcropping nearby, you sense one place and all of them for just a moment. What are you what is what's happening, Ariana? What's happening to your face? There's there's a point right. Do, is it just like a flash or does it it's like a flash it, it's it like stay it's like maybe something on the edge that kind of you know maybe peeked out you know moved into the your area <gasps> and then moved back that gives me all senses all oh what is it is. can uh, we go stealth i'm so stealthy can we go you are very stealthy i am not um, oh, we should wake somebody else up. Okay. Um, is anyone sleeping on the deck or is everyone under deck? I will leave that to the crew. I'm <laughs> sleeping on the deck, but I'm even less stealthy than you. <laughs> more, more. I want to make sure we have backup. If someone... <laughs> somebody uh, watching. Okay. Yeah. If, if Adrastos is like in the crow's nest or somewhere on, on deck, curled up like a cat. Um, uh, Ariana will run over and kind of shake him gently awake and be like, Adrastos, Adrastos. What? Tikaros and I need to go investigate something on the land. I need someone awake. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you. He just kind of cracks his shoulders, picks up a javelin, and just kind of posts up by the ship, looking very grumpy, warning cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll I'll like that. Sorry, go ahead. I just wanted to bring the dancing light Adrastos closer to you and just kind of yawn up in your face. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it looks just like me. Well done uh is do we we don't have a little boat do we i like know uh, you do not a landing boat okay no, i didn't think not. so um no. how deep's the water around here uh if you just go off the edge of the boat you're going to be probably in 15 to 20 feet of water which will gradually make its way up to the beach okay <laughs> ariana is skeptical <laughs> um <laughs> I am very much going to channel my uh, use my channel divinity so that I get advantage on swim checks. Okay, so just to be clear, Tikaros, Ariana, and Adrastos are awake and on deck. You have not awoken anyone else. Uh, yes, she. Okay. I probably nudge Adrastos, be like, "Hey, if you see anything, get everybody else up." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won't take any more chances. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. Yes. So you are prepping to swim? Yeah. And I assume you go over the edge of the boat? And is anyone going with her? Yes. But wait! Ariana, I think I can help make you a little tiny bit more stealthy. I've never done this before, so if you trust me, I'll try it. With my whole self. <gasps> That's so beautiful. She'll clutch her little necklace again, and then she'll touch your forehead, and she'll say, Secrets, be stealthy. That's us. And she's going to cast invisibility on you and herself using her special sorcery point magic. Hell yes. And we blink out. Is your, is your light... Sphere, any type of a concentration spell, or is it something that just lasts for a time? I think for just Flair, so she would have brought it up in front of Adrastos, and then mm -hmm. after he had oh. a little moment with it, she would have dissipated it. Okay, okay. So it's cool. gone. Right. 
So Adrastos, they uh, vanish from your view. Okay, I do have dark vision, so. But they're invisible. Uh, oh. oh, right. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm still focused on where they were going. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I would have. I, I'll. Uh, Ariana will have pointed to like the spot that she thought she saw something. So, like, just keep an eye on this area. Okay. So you make your way off the edge of the boat, and the waters. The waters are a bit chilly. Um, Adrastos, what you see is you see two splashes in the water. And then you see ripples <laughs> as the, <laughs> the water separates. And the, mm -hmm. Stealthy ripples? Stealthy, Stealthy ripples. ripples. Stealthy ripples. <laughs> and uh, totally. both of you make it ashore. And I need uh, two things from you. First, I need your stealth checks. And secondly, please roll initiative. <laughs> <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey, you know what? I have a plus one to stealth. It's not nearly as bad as I... Should I roll initiative as well? Since uh, yes, please do. Monitoring. Okay. Should I, use... should I should I know if invisibility does that give us advantage to stealth checks? I should have looked this oh, up. Oh, that yes, is a I new think... spell. Yes, yes. It, you take yeah? advantage on the stealth check. I'm trying to get the turn order to reset and it's doing Sorry. Its annoying. <laughs> I thing rolled a here. nat one on my oh. first stealth check, so I'm glad that's a disadvantage. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use lucky on that to Oh, yes. Right. Oh my god. No. <laughs> it's a nine stealth. Oh no. We tried. We did try. So yeah, not exactly the stealthiest creatures out there, but that's okay. So Tikaros, I believe you got a 12 for initiative. And Ariana? Yep. What did you get? I got it. Uh, we'll need you. While we're sorry. Waiting. Yeah, it, sorry. <laughs> I, I got a 13. All right. Ariana's 13. Adrastos? Eight. Eight. All right. Very good. Ariana, uh, as you come out of the water attempting to be stealthy, unfortunately, you cannot leave water without <laughs> making some noise. Uh, yeah. And you make your way on, on to land. And Looking around at the spot where you had seen, you notice a shadow that moves backward, and then you see something running off into the distance. What are you going oh. to do? T girls, come on. Oh, okay. she's going to run and double right. move and athletics if she needs to to leap over stuff. Okay, so you are, you are. You are dashing, so you do double your movement, correct? I'm right. booking it. All right, very good. Uh, I don't know if this affects anything, but the distance of my long jumps increases by 10 feet. So if I can, like, <laughs> run, 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 and then dive. <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing, like, in a video game where you jump move so that you're getting yes. that extra... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra see, 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 <laughs> see, 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Uh... Since you are obviously attempting to pursue this thing and you are tracking, give me a survival. Ooh. He's lucky because that's another nat one. This dice is oh. done for the day. Oh, goodness. I, ro right. I rolled a one, an eight, a three, and a one. Oh, no. Right. Uh, there awesome. we go. That's a little better. We'll, we'll come um, back to how we'll come back to how your high speed chase goes after this. Fantastic. Uh, Dickeros, yeah. what are you going to do? Well, I feel like I was really stealthy with my 21 stealth roll. <laughs> so I'm gonna Ariana said follow and she saw something, so I'm gonna follow her, but I'm gonna try and keep stealthy and a little ways behind her, just moving a bit stealthy. Uh but okay. keeping sight of her as much as possible. So just double, double move, booking it after her as fast as okay. stealth will allow. All right. But just basically following the direction she is going. Excellent. Yep. All right. Well, I'm not going to tell Wait. you what happens there. Yes. Can I do one more thing? Well, of course. Well, uh, you've used your action to dash. So. I have. You can tell me, you can tell me, Tam, if this would be allowable. I want to use my um, uh, mind telepathy power to shoot back to Adrastos. 
we've seen something. Ariana's running into the forest. I'm following her. And then as I'm running. Are you able to do that as a bonus action? I think you're able to do that as a bonus action, but I'm not sure. I think it was, but. Let me look it up. Yeah. Ah, too fast. It's just speaking, right? Telepathy. You can speak telepathically to any creature. Could it just be a bonus action? I'll let it this time because, you know, we're we're in a weird initiative here and nobody's going to hate me for it except Z, so we're good. <laughs> I'm just joking, Z. I'm just joking. All right. But you are running off after this thing in, in some direction, uh, thinking you're after it at least. Um, what What's your message to Adrastos? Adrastos, Ariana's seen something. We're running after it into the forest. Okay. So Adrastos, you see as... Ariana and Tikaros come out of the water and then all of a sudden just take off at high speed and you get this message, uh, Tikaros' voice in your head saying that they saw something and they're pursuing it. You're muted, my friend. Mute myself first. And then I will very <laughs> loudly yell, don't run off! Hopefully waking up people on the ship and also imploring to them, stop, that's a dumb thing to do. <laughs> Well, not, not, not a dumb thing to do, but I, I can't cover them from there. So why did they wake me up if they're just going to do that? <laughs> uh, uh, so are you going to take any action aside from yelling? Um, I will see if that had any effect. If they continue running in the direction, I will probably go wake up the rest of the boat and then go after them. Okay. I will come back to Ariana. Cool. Didn't have any effect. Good. I'm giving her. Uh, I rolled a 14 on my survival. Okay. So you start running off, and then it, it occurs to you that there's something over that way. You heard a twig break or something, and you're like, ah, wrong direction, and you make a you make a Damn turn. It. But in this, because you have gone off the wrong direction. You know that the distance between you and whatever you are chasing has not gotten shorter. It's gotten a little bit longer because they were headed a different direction. Dang it. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have anything to make myself faster, even though I'm actually, what's my, I don't know, my athlete background just gives me, um, people think I'm cool, so they let me stay places. <laughs> Uh, dang. Um, I'm gonna try and if I if I pick up the other direction that, that I think it's going, I'll probably take another round running that direction. Okay. Yeah. So continuing your dash, uh, Tikaros. Yep. You, uh, Ariana changes direction and it starts heading off oh. a little bit different way. Same again, as stealthy as I can with as much pace as possible, just following and keeping eyes on her. All right. And as you continue pursuing after this thing, and it's obviously off in the distance, um, Ariane, you can just see kind of in the area, whatever that shadow was stops for a moment. It's almost like it's looking back at you. And then it goes up a tree. Oh, uh, Ariana's making it for that tree. <laughs> I'm going up. <laughs> so you are still at a distance. So are you yes. going to go to the tree? It is. I'm, or are you just that's going to be up? my next round? Just head into there and then up the tree as soon as you can. All right. She's real Drastos. <laughs> Adrastos, uh, your yell from last time uh, was heard down below by Prime, who is going to stick his head up stairs and is something wrong? Yes, yeah, something is wrong. Our first watch has decided to pursue something into the woods without support. <sighs> Please wake the others. I'm going after them. Very well. And he will come downstairs and he will awaken Agrios and Vara. But for now, Adrastos, you're up. I will growl quietly to myself 
jump into the water and swim after them. All right. So your movement will get you to shore. Uh, we've shown that you can swim. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, you hit the shore. Do you, are you going to use dash or whatever to try and catch up with them a little bit? Yeah. So uh, the only way you're going to know where they went, unfortunately, is by footprints. Okay. Because you cannot see them. So All give right. me a disadvantaged survival check, please. Okay. Unless you have another way to track them, but that's the only one I can think of at the moment, unless you're smelling them. So. I mean, <laughs> probably not. I'll track them by footprints. Mm -hmm. They smell like lobster from dinner, from butter. Uh, with disadvantage, that's a nine. All right. Uh, you are, unfortunately, while you are trying to follow quickly, you are slowed down because it is very hard to follow their, their path through this. Uh, they're both moving at full speed. They're not leaving great footprints on this ground. Um, so you're going to go off in a direction, assuming it's the right way. And okay. at this point, I'm going to uh, ask Vara and Agrios what they are doing, and then we'll go back up to the top of the initiative order. Uh, someone needs to stay with the ship. Oh. I assume you would be interested in going on land and figuring out what's going on? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather do that. Yeah, I will stay on the ship. <laughs> You're more than welcome to go. I'm, still I can safe. stay here with Ptolemaeus. Are you sure? I thought maybe I, this would be a good opportunity for you and Agrius to, um, well, aren't you practicing or, 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 or doing something? I've seen you've been fighting more. Um, only, um, uh, only when needed. Um, it, it is, it is up to you. I'm, I'm, we're wasting time. What should we do? That's true. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You two figure that out. Uh, Agrius goes charging off. All right. Prime, it's your choice. We've talked about this. I, I'm not going to tell you an action. Well, I hate to hold you out from, from all the activity. Oh, I... I mean, I, I, I am merely a standby, almost a uh, non-player is... in, in the reality of this world. Whereas you are a player. I suppose that's true. Well, it is an honor to be trusting you with this ship. Perhaps you will see action here as well. I hope not, but that's a fair point. Agrios, I'm coming too. And Vara will follow behind. So oh, how loud does she yell that way? <laughs> not super loud so if you're far away you would have not noticed he probably he probably either doesn't hear it or like doesn't hear it clearly enough to like respond he's just, he's just running off it's more of a courtesy so, than anything else <laughs> so, Agrius, you're gonna have to jump off uh land in the water swim to shore get up on shore are you dashing absolutely. off as well yeah absolutely and uh you do not have dark vision i don't uh, so you will be uh, attempting to, to follow a Drastos, I assume, because he would have been the the last one off of it. Uh, so please give me a survival check as you try to determine where a Drastos has gone. I'll do and it. And Vara, if you are going with him, uh, same thing. Unless you have some other plan of how you would like to join this Mary. No, chase. I'll do the same thing. It was survival, you said. Yes. Uh, right. I was so confident rolling back because I have a plus six, but it doesn't help much when you roll a two. Well, I have a plus six and rolled 19, so, so fuck I've you. Been... No, I'm just... Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Crass, I, everybody's so sassy you pants too. today. I see this as Agrios is getting off on the, gets off on the landing. He's looking around, and Moira comes up and just smacks him one and Come on, and points the direction. <laughs> <laughs> this way, this way. This way. Right. Uh, the two of you go ahead and roll initiative for me. And... Uh, Let's get you into the list as well. All right. You guys are so mean to me just because I like killing people in brand villages and stuff. It's like no big deal. It's, it's 
kind of a deal. Just because I like killing people and murdering stuff doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I rolled an I rolled an eight um, initiative. All right. Where are I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you in behind uh, Adrasto. So I'm gonna put seven, even though you rolled an eight, just so it puts you in the right order. Vara? Oh, we don't have tokens yet. Sorry, I was trying to figure out my token. Ah, don't worry about it. I'm just manually typing them in at this point. Sweet. Six. <laughs> I'm really good at knowing where to go, but I'm not good at getting into it. <laughs> but I got I got to say, this works out really well for everything falling in order of how you guys join the chase. So I love yeah. it. Yeah. No, perfect. Right. Ariana, uh, you move forward to the area where you believe you saw this figure move up into the tree. And what are you going to do? Because I don't want to presume. I push the button microphone. Um, <laughs> uh, I would like to leap and run up the tree. Leap and run up the tree. <laughs> yes, correct. Just like just just run full tilt and just like Naruto run just straight up. OK. I believe that would. Uh... You're, do you have a climbing speed? I do not. So I would like to okay. athletics my way up, please. Yeah, thank I was going to say, give me an athletics or an acrobatics for your way up this tree. Uh, my peerless athlete is still active. It's for 10 minutes. So Excellent. Uh, that, that's cocked, thank goodness, because that was a three and a, almost a three and a four. <laughs> okay, uh, 12, and I've got good athletics. Um, Uh, plus five is 17. All right. You hustle your way up this tree and find yourself face to face with someone staring back at you. <gasps> what are you running for? Kind of turns its head. And you can see underneath his cloak, he's carrying something. I would put it on and wear it, but it smells like spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> the smell has not dissipated over two weeks. Yeah, we so. don't need you huffing anything. <laughs> Give me a little stand. You know. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Anyway. <laughs> it's beautiful. So he's got something. He's wearing a long black cloak, which is pulled up. You can see his face underneath it, and he's got something. It. I will say it, not he. Underneath it. What you got there? Perhaps we should just discuss it. He'll put up its hand and kind of back up a little bit, moving out farther on this branch. Yeah. <clears throat> um. She is. Not going to move forward at first, but would just like to try and, hey, maybe we just talk. Maybe we just figure out what's going on. Um, I'm going to do my divine sense again, if I can. OK. That might be an action, though, so I might have to wait till next turn. Uh, yeah, that would be an action. So I think we'll it is. Yeah, it is an action. So I will. I will hold on that because um, climbing this tree was my turn. So um, I would like to. I'm trying to persuade him to chill and just sit for a sec, but I don't know if that's going to help. Okay. Very good, Tikaros, you're up. Okay, so I haven't dropped invisibility yet. So I imagine I've been following the clumsy, loud footsteps of Ariana all this time. And mm -hmm. now if I can get, I need to get within 30 feet of this situation and see if I can hear her or see what she's chasing. Okay. Uh, if you're at the base of the tree, because you were running about the same pace and she went up, if you look up in the tree, um, you can see that there's something dark figure about the same height in the tree where you think she would be because of motion of the limbs and stuff like that. Um, but you can't really make out anything super clear about this in the darkness. Okay. Well, if I can see that creature enough, 
and it's within 30 feet up there in the tree. I'm going to try casting detect thoughts on it from here. Okay. Just surface thoughts, the surface thoughts of the creature, what's most on its mind in that moment, just the surface level. Give me just a moment as I have to check something on that. <laughs> yes. You get nothing. <gasps> nothing. All right. She just holds it at the bottom of the tree as quiet as possible. Mm -hmm. So, Ariana, in front of you, this thing is like putting its hand up and backing up and, and looking back and forth. At this moment, you realize. It can't see you. It only hears you. Right. I was, but yeah, and, invisible. <laughs> and it is continuing to back away and, and, and just look back and forth. And it's getting farther out on the limb, and you notice as the limb is beginning to bend and creak, as in it is struggling underneath the weight. And we'll be back to you in a moment. Just letting you know what's going on. Uh, Adrastos, um, you are trugging along, trying to, to track, um, but you lose sight of it. You lose, you lose the trail for a moment. Uh, but shortly behind you, you have Agrios and Vara come up. And Vara seems to have a, a fairly good idea which direction to go in. So. I'm going to leave it to the three of you to determine what you're going to do at this point. You do not know specifically where Ariana and Tikaros have gone. Uh, between the three of you, you need to figure out what direction you're going. So I will let you as a group figure out how you want to handle this. If they seem to know where they're going, I'll default to them. Okay. Or at least know better than me. Yeah, Vara seems pretty confident. In fact, I don't yeah. think she would even say anything. She would just stay focused and kind of hold herself like like she she's holding herself like a captain and kind of is just making the bold assumption of like, oh, I'm your captain, you're following me. So she, and she's just gonna stay focused and keep going. Well, that that has been addressed as his MO so far. So no reason to change that now. Perfect. Yeah, okay. I mean Agrios doesn't want to admit that he didn't find it, but you know, he's gonna follow her. Yeah. Adrastos is convinced that Agrios and Vara did this together. So if if for as far as Adrastos knows, Agrios did find it. All right, fair enough. Vara, um, let's uh I'm gonna give you a choice here. You can either do a perception or a survival with advantage. As you are leading let's this group. See. My perception and survival are the same. But survival didn't fail me last time, so we'll do it again. <laughs> Wow, nap one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would like to remind you, I think we have three inspirations of D20s purchased for us. I would love to use uh, that. Did, that, did the some more get purchased? I didn't know. I only yeah. knew of the one. I, one I got just spent put a bunch in the... Oh, one got oh. spent last time, so we have two. Um, yes, uh, Alias awesome. bought a D6 of inspiration, and then Trisalta and Random Equinox both bought D20s. Well, thank you wow. both. I'm I'm sorry I didn't see it. Thank you for catching it uh, yeah, that's awesome. and, and making a note of it. That is awesome. Thank you guys. I would love to use a D20 of inspiration. That would be lovely. I support this. It. Cool. <laughs> I just roll a straight D20. It's just and... it's basically re-rolling what your role is. That's how we're gonna treat these. So Oh, do I add my modifier then? Yeah, yeah. Just consider it like a re-roll. An event. Okay, sure. We'll do it again. That was a two, so it's an eight now. It went up by one. <laughs> uh, Vara, um, <laughs> you were doing so good, and you were leading this, but as you catch the wow. group and you and they're like falling in behind you, you have that moment of disbelief on yourself, and sure, you realize you can't see the trail. 
they may have gone off this way, but it looked like they had had got changed direction at some point, but you can't tell where they went. I turned back at them, and the captain confidence just kind of immediately disappears, like, oh, um, I, like, the bar just kind of blinks in disbelief, like, um, I, I've lost the trail, I don't know, and she just kind of starts looking around. It's all right, we'll find it again. They're strong, they can hold out for a little bit longer. Agrios, as, as you all are standing there waiting, you hear a voice. Oh no, I don't want that. <laughs> and it's it's a voice you're familiar with. It's it's that voice that you call Mogus that you hear in your head. Oh, okay. That's fine. And it says that way, and you get a, a very strong feeling of turning to the right. Oh, he immediately turns right and goes that way. Oh, Agrios has a trail. Come on, Vara. Any, any, oh. any direction that Mogus tells him to go is the correct one. All right. So they begin heading off in that direction. Ariana, you are up a tree. <laughs> and has only just figured out that she's remembered that she's invisible, and that's why he's being so weird. Um, how far ahead is he? Uh, he's definitely out of arm's length reach sure. to you. Uh, I would say he's probably about 10 feet out on this limb because it's a fairly Ooh, burly limb. limb, but he is reaching the thinner part of it. So we're, and, we're probably not too high up this tree then if the, if the uh, branch he, is still. I'm going to say, I'm going to say you're probably a good 20 feet up. This is a good sized tree for the area that you're in. You're back around, down around Melitus on that side where there is some forest area. Killing mm. damage is only a d6 every 10 feet. <laughs> I think she's fallen off of a few big statues in Akros in her time. And I think she thinks she can take it. I want to tackle him off the tree. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I'd like so, to grapple him. I was going to say, you're going to treat this as a grapple, which is yep. wonderful. Uh, and then that's athletics, right? It's come. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. So I get advantage on that. Uh, oh, that's a 19 plus five is 24. Let's say, because I got a dirty 20. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, thank God. Thank you for advantage. <laughs> So you're, are you planning to tell me how this grapple goes? Let me understand exactly how you want this to work. So she's kind of against the, well, I guess there's kind of two ways to do this. She's kind of still got an arm against the trunk of the tree and he's kind of out a little bit far. And I think, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I, well, so I think she's going to try and take a couple of steps kind of towards like towards him as as sort sort of watching his movements and trying to like climb along it so that it's not making movement without him. Right. Understood. And then she's gonna grab him by the vet by the front of the cloak and just like throw herself backwards against the tree and just hug him. Okay. So hopefully not bailing, but we'll see. All right. You grab, and as you pull forward, you feel there's something under his arm, and you feel that weight shift. And rather than resist you, turns and, and like, tries, like, grabbing frantically. And then you see something falling towards the ground. And you hear, you hear the sound of a small child cry out. Oh, no. Tikaros, get it! Tikaros, you are on the ground. You see as this figure that whatever it is up in the tree suddenly flies forward, smacking (laughs) itself towards the tree, and then drops something. That's some kind of a bundle 
uh, it makes you hear a noise of a child crying out, and then you hear Ariana yell out to you. I go for whatever that is falling and try my best to catch it. All right. Uh, give me an, a dexterity. It can be athletics, acrobatics. I'm going to leave it open to whichever thing you want to use to do this. Dex, straight. I wouldn't know why you would. Acrobatics or athletics? Acrobatics. Acrobatic right. leap. Oh, yeah, not bad. 18. All right. Describe to me how you catch this thing as it is falling from this tree. Supremely disappointed that nobody will see this. I will see it in my mind as I leap. It's almost like all parts of me leave the ground for a moment and I feel like I'm in slow motion and I just wrap it up and bundle it to my chest, landing gently on the ground again. <laughs> Excellent. So you, you have rescued this. Now, up in the tree, uh, Ariana, uh, the thing, you know, attempted to grasp, and as it's fallen from its hand, it turns, and it almost as though it's looking you in the eyes, but it's obvious it can't see you. It's, it's just happens to have picked the right direction. And it rears back and hammers forward. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, that's a 17. That'll do her. Oh, awesome. Does he have disadvantage? Oh, He's grappled well, and I'm invisible. You're grappled. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do disadvantage. Uh, that's a, that's one less. Oh, fair. That still hits. It's close. Okay, I, my AC's 15, but that was close. so if it was two less. Uh, no so cigar. that is going to be three force okay. damage as our bludgeoning damage as you are smacked in the face with uh, what appears to be a metallic mask. Oh, oh you got to do better than that. I've had worse in training. And uh, I'm going to put you on hold as we go back to the group of Adrastos, Egrios, and Vara. As they are tracing after something in the woods. Yep. Definitely something. Uh, just something of a direction of a voice in my head told me to go. I got it's most of that. Thing. I'm afraid yeah. your internet's being a little wiggy, but that was interesting. Oh, no, not I think again. You said We're following I think the you voice in your head. You're following the voice in your head. So you continue on for it. Uh, and if they're following with you, you move for a ways, and then suddenly you see standing ahead of you, probably a hundred feet, a figure. Hard to see except for the outline against the, the gray of stone behind it, a black cloaked figure. But you do notice kind of got a shiny pale face. And as it turns its head to look at you, you notice a glint of silver from the center of its face. Mm. Silver, not, not gold like that minotaur we met once. Nope. And all of you see this, by the way. Mm. And I'm having you, ha handling you as a group for the moment until you get close enough to figure out what you're going to do. So. Between the three of you, what would you like? Right, to does do? the voice in my head instruct me what to do with this? Thing? No. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, you there, stop right there, he says as he charges toward it. <laughs> okay, so you're going to move towards it, Adrastos. Adrasos is hold on. Am I, uh, okay, good. Adrasos is going to roll his eyes at his party that keeps running headlong into things, um, because he remembers a, a simpler time when that was him, <laughs> um, and is going to kind of just post up with a javelin to cover Agrios if this goes sour. Okay, but without trying to engage. All right. Very good. Laura. 
Yeah, I'll just stand by Adrastos and <laughs> just kind of smile. <laughs> does it run from me? It no, run. it does not. It stands fast. So oh, are you doing nice. your normal movement? Yeah, I'll do normal movement. Okay. But I'll try and move around it to try and make sure it doesn't run away. Okay. Um, uh, there is a, a pile of stone behind it. So it would have to move either left or right to continue away from you. So it mm. or up, I guess, would be a possibility the, as well. What's the story with this pile of stone right here? It's just rock. Okay, it's just rock. All right, just rock. There's a lot of this kind of uh, stuff around here. You're in a wilderness area, so. All right, I wasn't sure if it was natural or not. If it was one of those situations of like, hmm, no human would stack rocks like this. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's large rocks uh and uh maybe no human would but maybe the gods would that's fair right when you come back name? around i will follow initiative order this next time so because <laughs> you're close that's enough fair. now all right uh ariana uh you are in a tree this thing has just busted you in the face uh with its head what would you like to do um grab its mask off because i've still got it in a grapple right i'd kind of like to reach up and pull oh goodness okay uh go ahead and uh give give me an attack roll with advantage um and let's see how this goes as you attempt to rift this off of its face that's gonna be uh a dirty 20. I think that's good enough. Uh, roll some uh, melee damage there. Some uh, uh, just strength, unarmed, just like an unarmed just, attack. Yeah, unarmed attack, yeah. Uh, then that's going to be one plus two is my strength, so three damage. Okay. You grab this thing and it's held on with a strap, so you're going to have to pull on it. And as you do, it it breaks the strap, but you know you you feel as it tears some flesh as you pull this mask off. Are you? going to keep hold of the mask or she'll probably drop it okay so you yeah. do that and let the mask fly away and in front of you is a face with empty eye sockets and a mouth that hangs agape I thought that might be it oh, how is he undead a celestial and a fiend good gracious um, I, I can't not be invisible. It's not under my control, unfortunately. Um, uh, she'll, she'll, uh, keep hold of him, keep him in a grapple as best she can, um, and say, we've helped your kind before. Calm down and we can talk. All right. Is the bundle safety gross? Yes. That's true. All right, Tikaros, you're up. I want to look at this thing I've just caught. All right. Uh, it is a, a small child. Actually, um, you know what? Roll me a d4. Okay. Ah, uh, two. It is a small human child. <gasps> Maybe, you know, tod toddler age, almost toddler age. So probably in that 18 to month to two year zone so what? but it is wrapped oh. up tightly in this bundle all right i want to i want to use my movement to move 35 feet away from okay. this situation but still keep eyes on ariana and i want to just hide if i can use okay. my if that if that didn't use my action the looking i would use my action to hide about okay. 35 feet away and just keep eyes on this okay uh, this mask comes flying down and hits the ground next to you as you open up this thing and see the bit. And your immediate thought is, get the hell away from here. <laughs> so you move off a little ways with this child who is, there's fe great fear in the eyes. And, uh, <laughs> all right. 
this creature that you are holding on to, while it may not be able to see you, it can definitely attempt to fight back because you're holding it, Ariana. So I am going to need a strength check from you. Is it strength or athletics? Uh, for contested grapple on your side, it's strength. Okay. Um, I just want to see. I don't know if that I have a. Oops, too big of a screen. Out of the way. Can't remember if I get it. Uh, advantage on just athletics and acrobatics check. Okay, so it, it doesn't count for this. Just strength. I'm going to use my last lucky point. That's my third nat one of the game. <laughs> oh, wow. Arguably lucky. you got to melt those dice. Arguably. Wow. I've, I've used three sets. <laughs> yes? <that> one. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, I, we're... <laughs> so, yes, I. It's a. it's a three. But wait, we've got chat help still. <laughs> I'm there is scared a, there of is wasting a D, it. There's a D20 and a D6. The D6, I think, would be a waste. <laughs> yes, exactly. Are, are, are you guys all right with me risking that last D20? <laughs> okay. Do it. <laughs> Do it. All right. The Christmas day. Let's use my Christmas dice. Maybe this will help. That is a 15. All right, I you are of. able to keep hold it. Thanks, guys. This 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 thing, this being, almost breaks free from you, but you are able to get a grip on it, uh, which is extremely difficult while still hanging on in a tree. Please give me a, a dexterity check. Ooh, that's gonna be worse. Uh, oh nope, I think she's going down. That's a seven. All right. You lose footing on it and fall, but you've still got a grip on them, and I'm gonna say that you're holding on in the tree. But you're going to have to do something on your next turn, or you're going to have to let go. So one of the gotcha, other. fall or let go. Got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Adrastos, you have closed the distance. You're now about sixty feet away from this entity. They didn't move. I'm sorry. Why am I thinking you're? Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Well, it's, I, it is usually me, so it's a fair assumption. It's just not this time. Yeah, but no, but I honestly got names reversed in my head. This is, this is the problem with being an old man. Sometimes old man things happen. Adrastos, you are standing fast while Agrios has closed the distance to this creature. What would you like to do? I'm, keep, I'm keeping my javelin up in case anything happens. Kind of seeing that Vara hasn't moved forward, kind of moving my shield in front of Vara so Vara can still see but is very mm -hmm. much behind the massive wall of metal. Okay. So is this as in holding an action, or you're just bypassing your action and staying Yes, there? if there is a any sort of hostile action towards Agrios, I okay. will release my javelin. All right. Very good. Agrios. What is your name? Who are you? Just kind of turns a little bit and reaches inside of its cloak. He allows it to. Any other action or any action you want to take? It just reaches inside, but doesn't take anything out. It's not its turn, so it's just that's I've given it enough time to do a response to you. So. Hmm. hasn't done anything okay let's can i can i see what's in its it's inside of its cloak so no you cannot it's like up under its arm uh, you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna cast detect magic to see if there's anything else going on here or anything okay. weird about this creature. So you are you are a good 60 feet away from this thing. What is the range on your detect magic? The range on detect magic is 
30 feet. Can I get closer? I'm 60 you feet. Did. I thought you said I closed the distance with it. I said you've closed the distance to 60 feet. You said you were moving okay. your normal uh, speed. So. Okay. So, yeah, you can you can close the distance. You've got movement. Absolutely. I'll close the distance to... Uh, with my normal speed, I can go... So I'll stop 20 feet away from it. Okay. And I've got to laugh but, because I, I even know what she was singing. I could tell. But anyway... <laughs> Anyway, well, so you close the distance I, to 20 feet. I know what I would sing in that situation, but I, I didn't see what she I was, I was singing Disney Her Disney's Hercules. Yeah, I, yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> yeah, I was Yeah, you were? Thinking. That's yeah. not what I was thinking. No? No, I was thinking, here's going the distance. I can go distance. the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I can close the distance. And now I want cake. I don't care how far. Anyway. Um, Somehow I will stand. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I close. Will every mile be worth your while? <laughs> We're about to find out once I cast detect magic and see if there's any anything spooky going on. Okay. So you cast detect magic, and now you are close enough you can get a better view of this entity. And again, it's standing somewhat oblique to you, so you're catching you know the hooded, caked part of it. You can see the face now very clearly that it's it's pale white. And you see a scar or something running down the center of its face and it's silver. Almost like um almost like a thread of silver that runs down. It's going down its face. So there's metal. So it's its face is itself is not metal. It's it's just it's, it's a hard, white you face. You can't really tell it's just it's hard pale to tell. white with that. And right. the other side of its face is obscured. And it's Anything reaching into it. it's reaching into its cloak. And as you cast detect magic and it expands out over it, this entire creature lights up. Is there any particular school of magic, or is it just magic? You catch if you if you were to look up into the 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 night sky into the nicks of the night that is if you were to stare into ptolemaeus's hair that is what it looks like to you interesting it's magical he warns everyone else there's something strange about it So it basically, it, it seems like that. It seems like sort of a night sky with stars, right? Yeah, that's how it views in your detect magic. It's like staring into a sky filled with stars. Interesting. I wish you could see it, Vara, or your area of expertise. I mean... And he's having to say this fairly loud because you guys are a good sixty feet behind him now. I wish you could see this far. I'm more your area of expertise. You could describe it, I guess. Um, there's a star there, and then one down there. <laughs> never, never mind. Never mind. There. No, it's okay. That's all right. I'm. A, I actually, that's enough. I'm imagining it. Mm, yes, beautiful. And Thank he you. does all this in six seconds, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his turn. That's it. That's all she wrote. Vara. Um, geez, I don't know. Um, does Adrastos look like he's going to move? Can I gauge that? No, he doesn't. No, you, you have fought alongside Adrastos to know the difference between like spring loaded legs and locked down legs. Sure, then Vara's just gonna hold her ground. I'll hold, um, just like a block defense. Action. What is it? what is the action? The, def the defensive one? Dodge. Dodge. A whole dodge. Right. All right. And this entity is going to pull out from inside of its cloak a round object. Black oh. in color. Not great. 
Nope. Nope. Not great. And it's going to hold it out towards Agrios. Uh, how does this, how does this look to me? Pretty much like this being handed out to you. But does it look particularly, does it look like a different kind of, does it light up as magical as well in a different way than the creature? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And there's uh, some more as far other as, sort of magic. As far as uh, what school of magic? Um, conjuration. Mm. Okay. Um, but he's holding it out to me. Is it, is it in a threatening way or is he offering it to me? Or um, You can't really tell. It's okay. just this person standing here holding this out like this to you. Yeah, I'm going to choose to interpret that as a threat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. But we'll come back to no, you we'll in see. a moment because yep. uh, it's time to go back to Ariana in a tree, hanging on to both the returned and the tree. Well, <laughs> there's got to be a good up a tree joke here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I don't have any good musical jokes for that one. Um, uh, God, just, we've been. This is the this is the description that like Ptolemaeus and Tigros has given us, right? Was uh, I haven't looked at its legs. What leg is it? Satery legs or hooked feet? You you haven't really seen it. And it's got a cloak on, so I'm going to say it wouldn't be readily visible to you. Considering especially your angle at the moment that, again, you are yeah. hanging on to a tree and hanging on to them. The angle of the dangles off. Um, and I want to be clear so that there's no question. You do not see Agrio, Savara, and Adrastos anywhere. Oh, you? I know. They do not see you. Obviously, you're invisible, but that's another point. Yeah. Well, so Z made a good point that I have attacked him. And I think invisibility pops. So I might be visible now. I don't know. Sure, I don't know. Either <laughs> I mean, way, I'm he knows where. You, either visible. way, he knows where you are because you're holding on to him. So, uh, I, I can't let this guy go. Um, oh, Eros, protect my stupidity, and she's gonna let go of the tree, but hold on to the guy and just fall. All right. <laughs> you are fortunate in that uh, this returns body breaks your fall, which is unfortunate <laughs> for him. Uh, you are going to take three points of damage, and he is going to take six. Ooh. Oh, still not bad. <laughs> and as you hear the crack of him underneath you smack on the ground. I push up and go, are you ready to talk? Still had and try to pin and make sure that she maintains her pin. Okay. So you're going to attempt. We'll come to that in a moment. Yeah. Uh, Tikaros, you see as Ariana into existence uh, and then falls out of the tree while holding on to this other creature and lands no. on top of it. <laughs> Smack. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I'm going to. All right, I'm going to run back over there with my speedy little legs, clutching this uh, human child. Um, and when I get there, I'm going to. I want to grab just a rope out of my pack and start tying the creature up if I can. I'll. I'll just place the human child down near Ariana, and I'll try okay. and tie this creature up. All right. So he's grappled. So I'm going to say there's not going to be a lot of resistance to you working to tie him up but while you're doing that i'm going to move into his role because he has an opportunity to try and break this grapple so i'm going to need another strength check from you ariana oh. 
And uh, you can go ahead and roll it if you want to, but I don't think it, well, with your dice, we may need you to roll it anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, no, I did roll a nine. So strength is, uh, that's, make it that's good enough. You got okay. it. You got it. So, yeah. Because he, 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 he's rolling Ariana dice now. So, <laughs> so you are able to keep hold and you are able to uh, eye him up. He struggles a bit. Um, still making no exact noise, maybe some grunting, groaning noises, but no words. As I'm doing it, can I just try and I have a feeling it it can't speak our language or something is happening. Can I just try to speak into its mind as I'm tying it up? I'm going to say, we just want to talk. Give me some sign that you can hear me into and its head. To, and it's going to look around because there's this rope that is attempting to bind him from nowhere. And he'd seen Ariana speak, but he doesn't know where the voice is coming from. Okay. And this kind of looking around somewhat panicked. So definitely heard you. All right. Adrastos. Okay. Um, Adrastos will um, probably keep doing the same thing he's doing. Like be re but be ready to move if something happens because there is new information that bothers him, but not gonna mess with it if he doesn't have to. Okay, so again, you're still sixty feet away. Have your javelin, waiting, and waiting. Okay, yep. Agrios. All right, so this thing is still holding this thing out to me, right? This yes. fellow. All right. Oh, well, oh, something just happened. I'll fix the cameras. I'll fix the cameras in a motion. In a moment. Sorry, my internet <laughs> cut out. No worries. All right. Ha ha. So I'm going to be like, I don't trust this thing holding this thing at me. And what I want is to yell out, um, someone be ready to grab this thing. And then I'm going to cast command and say, drop. What's my DC? It is a wisdom save, DC 14. Well, you, you, you gave it an instruction. Yep. I gave it, uh, I gave it the command, whether, on, whether so. it, whether it goes off, we'll see on its turn, I guess. All right. Um, Very good. Any, any other thing you're going to do any movement or anything? Uh, let's see. Um, no, I, uh, no, I guess I actually am probably the one who's going to grab it if, if my turn comes around before its turn. So, uh, if, if it indeed dropped it, um, let's see, do I have any, that's an action. Do I have any bonus actions or, uh, no, um, nope, that's it. Let me get this back into the right order here. There, okay. All right, Vara, you're up. Um, okay, so I don't know. Um, was he? Was he able to catch the orb, Agrius? He's still holding the thing's still holding it in his hand. He has not let oh, go. Oh, it's of holding it. it. Okay. The thing. <sighs> I don't know if aggressing it would be a good <laughs> idea. Well, I guess so. He. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and hold. I feel bad, but I think I'm going to hold the dodge action again, and I'm just kind of going to wait, because I don't know what this orb <laughs> holds. I don't want to do something to make things worse, so Vara's going to stand her ground. Right. The entity turns his hand over and lets the sphere drop to the ground. 
and it hits and begins to slowly roll towards Agrios. Agrios, as it approaches you, you notice as it begins to light up with a fingerprint. No. Chase it. <laughs> and we will come back to your action uh, in just a moment. As we come back to Ariana's group, Ariana Tikaros and uh, Dead Guy and Baby. And Ariana, you suddenly hear a noise from nearby. And as you turn and look, you see another figure with a golden mask carrying a spear walk out from behind a tree not too far away. And it's dark. You don't have night vision, so I'm going to say that's all you can tell about it at the moment. And I also think this is going to be an excellent time for us to take a break. <laughs> Shape steps out from behind a tree holding a spear, but you can't really make out much more than, of it than the fact that it is also wearing a gold mask. We just want to talk about what's going on here. Clearly, there's something happening. We just want to talk. All right. And the creature is now tied up. Other than that, the creature is now oh, yes, tied it. up, so you can let go of your grapple. Oh. Okay, she'll she'll stand up then. Okay. Anything else? She's trying to persuade this thing to talk. That's it. <laughs> All right. Picaros. You have tied up this creature. Oh, sorry. Yes. Actually, can I please cast protection from good and evil on um Tikaros? Actually, I can't see I can't see Tikaros. Can I hold a no. hand out and say Tikaros take my hand? <laughs> I think the spell says you has have to see them though. It's touch, I believe. Oh, it is touch. Oh, very good Ooh. then. I I think. Let me think. check. Let me check. So Let me check. Protection from good, evil, and good. Touch, concentration. A willing creature you touch is protected against certain types. There you types. go. That works. Okay. If she reaches a hand out to me. Uh, See, if I, I was if I was would. one of those DMs, I'd go, but you're not touching her. You told her to touch you. So that's different. Oh, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I take her hand and then touch the hand. Um... Yeah, so now, um, yeah, presuming this thing is also Celestial Fiend undead uh, or an aberration, they mm -hmm. have disadvantage against her. Nice. Uh, she also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. Okay. Got it. Very good. Tikra, no, you're no. up. Amazing. That feels wonderful. <laughs> yeah. What I want to do, I'm going to speak into your head, Ariana. I'm going to take the child and hide in the bushes until we know if they've stolen it or not. And that's what I do. I'm going to try and, as much as I can, I'm going to try and scoop the child up, hide it under my little uh, kind of uh, jacket piece and okay. stealth into the bushes, still invisible. All right. Very good. The creature on the ground, of course, does nothing at this point because it's tied up, but maybe struggles a little bit. The other creature, however, takes its spear and angles it down and points it towards you, Ariana, and you swear you hear a growl. Stands on her ground. All right. We'll come back to you in a moment. Adrastos. Uh, this thing has fallen to the ground and is rolling towards Agrios. And a uh, fingerprint starts activating on it. I'll say you kind of have, you've seen this enough before, you know what, you kind of have an idea what's coming. Something All right, not good. So 
This could be considered so, aggressive, so if you want to uh, take your action, you can. You had a held action there. So can I, can I use the held action and then still get my action? You can use your held action, yes. Okay. Um, cool. Then for my held action, I will huck a spear. All right. Well, a javelin, but... Yeah. <laughs> a pointy <Close> stick! <laughs> And I assume I assume you're not aiming for Agrios. I just want to be absolutely clear. not. I missed, but it went out with a natural one. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so it it flies past and hits uh, the rock be slightly behind this creature, and then just turns its head and then turns back. Var, I believe you also had a held action uh, to dodge, but there's nothing really to dodge except the Drastos's spear. That's okay. <laughs> so, all right. So, with your held actions out of the way, I'm going to complete the action of this creature that dropped this ball on the ground and it began to roll towards Agrius. And suddenly, we weren't out of his turn. I was giving them their held actions, Agrius. I, I know you weren't out of his turn, but I do want to say, under command... Like the it, this description of the spell command drop is actually one of the pre-written uh, effects for that one, and it says the target drops whatever it is holding and then ends its turn. That's the effect that it lists under the spell. Understood completely. So I, that was you its said, turn at the time, right? You you said stop. I said drop. Oh, okay. Well, good. Uh, I'm still going to let you know that. It did not fail the save. Damn. It yeah, dropped. I was going to say it probably didn't ground. fail. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. It is rolling towards well, you. <laughs> I really wish it had failed the save. Be a lot cooler if it did. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I, don't, I don't want it to take the rest of its turn. The fingerprint begins to glow as the ball rolls and stops about five feet from you. And then suddenly it is as though. A portal of darkness has opened at your feet, and these tendrils of dark energy erupt from the ground and smack into your body. And I am going to need a strength saving throw. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Let's see. Let's don't see. hate me. I'm just the DM. Well, I don't hate you. Today. I don't hate you. You're going to hate me after this. Um... Well, let's see. So hold on, let me check something. Uh, no, it's only DC for ability 17. checks. It's not for saving throws. Yeah, well, I rolled a six. I assume that's a fail. Yeah, even with your ads for strength, that doesn't sound like you're going to hit 17. That's, um, uh, well, that, that's, with, that's with the modifier for strength. I rolled a three. Oh, crap. All right. These tentacles come up and grab and strike at you, and... You are going to take 22 points of necrotic damage. And uh, uh, you are unable like to that. take any reactions until your next turn. Oh. Oh. Okay. And as soon as these, these things come out, uh, Adrastos Vara, you see as these tentacles come up and grab and strike at him, and then it's like the portal that they were from just vanishes. And you just have standing there a very beaten and bloodied Agrios. Adrastos, you're up. So the creature is gone. No, the, the entity is still standing there. The tentacles, it's like a portal opened up. These things came out and slashed at him and then vanished. Okay. But the guy is still there. Um, guy, gal. Next person, question. Entity. Would we have rested for the sake of my abilities regenerating since we... Oh, you guys life? you guys have had plenty of rests since you were on the right. show. Absolutely. Just wanted to make sure before I did another action search. <laughs> um, okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to um... Use my action to dash. You said it was 60 feet? Um, yeah, let's just leave it there. 60 feet. Go okay. Um, <laughs> so if I dash, that will give me 10 extra feet of movement. Okay. Because um, I am a speedy kitty cat. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to run forward and I am going to use my first superiority die as part of my movement to bait and switch. Um, expending a superiority die and scooting Agrios back five feet so I'm in front of him. Okay. And then I will use that to bolster my shield into the ground, increasing my AC from 17 to 20. Okay. And then I will action search. <laughs> and then Very I will good. use my bonus action to attack the unsuspecting fellow in front of me with a fainting. Oh, attack. at this point, I think he suspects it, but go ahead. <laughs> well, he doesn't suspect it to come from his feet. <laughs> um, so I'm going to faint. Go, go, gadget, get there. <laughs> um, 15. That's a hit. Great. Okay, so 2d8 plus 6. Uh, so that is, oh, okay. 16 damage slashing for my first attack. Nice. All right. And then I will use my I'm a fighter ability to attack again. Uh, that bad hits. 26. Obviously hit. Yeah. <laughs> um, for 11 damage. All right. And this is also slashing? So it's yes. 20, total 27 slashing is what I've got. Correct. Okay. All right. As your weapon hits twice and cuts across, you see as large wounds open across the chest of this creature. And for what you would call blood, this liquid flows forth that is black like the night sky, but filled with stars and galaxies. Again, thinking back to Ptolemaeus's hair, it just flows out onto the ground. Oh my god, he ate Ptolemaeus! <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not that stupid. <laughs> uh, but that will be, that's movement, both of my actions and my bonus action, so I'm done. All right. Agrios. Okay. Those, are those tentacles still lashing around, or are they gone? Is that, that, they are that gone. They vanished. They vanished right okay. after. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, had to make sure. Um, is that is that uh, fingerprint ball still around, doing anything, it, it, or was it, it, also it just... or it is what burst into the portal that the things came from? All right. So that was just a little grenade of tentacles. That's all right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's that's the correct face, uh, <laughs> Ariana. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not too happy about what just happened. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. Um, and I'm also very low on spell slots because we didn't finish that rest earlier. Okay. You, you had a long rest on the ship. So everybody did, should be I fully did? rest. Yeah, you, you guys passed a couple of days on the ship. You would have rested. So, yeah. Okay. So fully rested. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry okay. for any confusion. Everybody's fully rested. Oh, no no worries. All right. I had some... I should be clearer and say that you've been on the ship for over a day. You've rested. Oh, okay. I... I okay. My bad. I'm giving I, you credit I had some spell it, slots. I had some spell slots it. that I didn't think about then. Um, let's see. Okay, so how how am I still within like twenty feet of this thing? Oh yes, well I you're five feet back from where you were, so definitely you were twenty feet away, so twenty five feet away, and there's an adrastos in front of you. Yes, there is an adrastos in front of me. Um, okay, I am going to. 
summon my spiritual weapon. Okay. Uh, which, as you know, is a big battle axe, and it's going to make an attack. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Six. That'll be... Oh, no, I don't want that. And that one. <laughs> Why is everything being like this tonight? How many is that tonight? Between. I have had four. I I've had one. <laughs> That's just crazy. Earlier, well, Too many is the answer. The dice are no... No TDK. I, really I even rolled two on different test dice in while I was just like, which dice should oh I take? God. Double ones. <laughs> I, I I rolled like a two earlier and a three, and now I've rolled a one. Like I just I, the gods are not happy roll. with us. No, what did we do? Um, I even changed dice. We like praised a couple of times. Up. All right. Uh so yeah, I don't know what happens there. I mean, there's is I imagine on a nat one, there's no saving that role, even with the, if I had bonuses. No, you know, no. even if even if I have have ma like, even if I it's have an ways attack of, role, so it's an attack role. So that one's obviously uh, uh, always uh, auto miss. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm tied. Hold on. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> well, not out. Whatever. That was a bonus action. I still have my my actual action. So I'm going to do something with that. Uh, also, it still actually summons my spiritual weapon, right? Like it's actually there. That doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't. It's fizzle there. Out just it just goes past one, him right? and it doesn't hit. You know, it's like okay. he dodges out of All the right. way or something. So you wouldn't. You wouldn't do that to me, Tam. I know that. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. No, no, no. All right. I mean, uh, yeah, that one failures usually. It, you know, would like hit one of your friends or something. But I'm not doing that tonight. Well, there's not anyone close enough to him. Um, okay. Then with my action, I'm going to attack him while simultaneously increase someone else's chances of hitting him uh, by firing off a, a guiding bolt. Okay. This one, I'm going to, where's the die that I haven't used yet? You there. <laughs> You, Where's a die I can you. trust? Oh. That's a... That's six. Okay, so that's three plus six is nine, and then I'm going to go ahead and just uh, channel divinity for a plus ten for 19. Okay. I, I have to at this point, or I'm not ever going to hit anything. Um. <laughs> Well, you do have that other D6 hanging out there that you guys can throw on too, by the way. But since you've got this yeah, ability, but, uh, I would use it. So, But I rolled a 9. I mean, how much? the, the best yeah, I can go for well, there is a 15. 14, I, yeah, yeah. And I feel like a 15 is not going to hit this guy. I feel like he's a little stronger than that. Uh, all right. What do we got? Uh, that is 12. Uh, that is 16 uh, radiant damage. All right. And and whoever makes the, the next attack made against it is uh, gets advantage. All right. Very good. And I think that next attack is probably going to come from Vara, who is a distance nice. away, but Vara, you Yeah. Yeah, what, what's the distance exactly? Uh, we're going to say 60 feet because you were beside Adrastos. So. 60 feet. Nice. Okay. Um, have we figured out like a weakness at all? Does it seem like it's resistant to certain he, damage? Or... He, he took quite a bit of damage from uh, Adrastos. He's bleeding or oozing or galaxying, you know, all over the place. And so we can assume it's Nyx, right? Would I... Is Radiant... Hmm... I'm going to hope maybe Radiant does something because it seems like a bad person. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to finish them off with a Guiding Bolt cast at third level. Okay. So that is... 
a 25 to hit. That's a hit. Nice. And that's 24 damage. Holy crap. Right. Yeah. You know, I Vara has been feeling so bad about her capabilities in combat because we're always up close. <laughs> when we're far away, can she just do her little spells? Oh, she's great. <laughs> it would be a good ego boost for her. <laughs> As your guiding bolt, bolt makes its way in, you see is the impact as you see this blood just effuse and spread all over as though it's splattered. And the entity falls backwards towards the rocks. And hmm. then an odd thing happens. As you're watching, the area around him, it's almost as though, it's almost as though you were looking at a drawing of what you had seen, as though everything loses texture and becomes flat on a page. Hmm. And then okay. fades. And you are left standing in the area. The blood is still on the ground, but it is now turned into a black bubbling ooze. Like it was possessed, maybe. Okay. And was this was this a nameless as well, or are they just dealing with a nameless? Or we we haven't investigated. We don't know. Uh, Adrastos and Agrios were close enough to get a good look at the face. You were still a pretty good distance away. I have not. Okay. Well, now that it's down, I'll try to close the distance. Obviously, oh, I not, feel bad. It's not something. down. It is gone. Oh. Right, yeah, it's it, it, it became it became almost like a drawing, two dimensional, and then just faded. Okay. Okay. So okay. Well, then yeah, I'll go. Put a coin in the bottle. Sam's like, damn it, Tim. What what are you drinking? Right. What coffee. the hell? It's it's, it's turned two D. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't really know how to pay respects to this, so I'll just kind of walk up to it and look why, at it confused. Why, why, why pay respects to it? I will pay no respects. I pay disrespects. Uh, you said you were going to look up, you were going to walk up and examine the area it was in? Did I understand that correctly, or am I extrapolating too much, Vara? No, yeah, I, I, I'll go ahead and walk up to it and at the very least, like, make sure there's a coin down for the passage, or, or see if it's worth putting a coin down. Uh, like, just try to figure out what the ooze is. It blood or is it just like a liquid? Are we still in combat rounds? Uh, no, you are not. If Vara's looking around, can I give her guidance? Oh, nice. Of course. All right, I'm gonna give Gar give Vara some guidance. All right, that would be Vara. lovely. Uh, investigation or perception, your choice. Sick perception, please. Let's see. We talked about a musical episode earlier, and now I'm just like, I'm in it. <laughs> That's a 20. Yay! Okay. 26. All right. I know everything that has ever happened to this man. <laughs> I was there As when he was born. I saw him in diapers. Roll, I ha I bottle fed. Roll, okay. roll the D4, too. Let's see if we can get a 30. Oh, I so, want, I so want to play into that at the moment, but I am not going to give in to temptation. Anyway, as you are uh, examining this blood, I got a three, was... so it was a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine, yeah. Close yeah. on the brink. That's still beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not going to give you more than what you're going to observe in the area, even though oh, I want to. Damn it! <laughs> and as you look at the blood, which has now stopped boiling, it's no longer colorful. It's black. In fact, it very much resembles the coating that was on those figures that you found in the woods. In fact, if you prod at it, you said you were something about a coin. So if you prod at it with the coin, it actually flakes off like that black material. Mm. And the rock underneath it has now turned into a soft, crumbly, almost sand. Interesting. Can, oh, is this disrespectful? Can I can I take some and see if I, we don't 
none of us know a whole lot about the Knicks from what I understand. Prime knows a little bit just from different things. So can, in case we encounter someone can, that might know more, can we, is there a way to contain this? But if, well, okay, is there, I would like to put it in some form of bottle or something, only if I believe that that would not be disrespectful in the eyes of Athrios. Do I have a gauge on that at all? This is not uh, the body of a creature. This is blood, as far as you have been able to see. And Perfect. Athrios has no real uh, things about that, you know. Perfect. Yeah, I'll go ahead and try to bottle some and see if maybe we can find a, a Nyx expert one day. Okay. Very good. A Nyx expert? Yeah, and then I'll, yep, yep. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and turn to... Nyxologist, yes. I'll, t I'll turn to both Agrius and Adrestus and did you, did you get a look at the face or, or anything? Did, was this the person that we'd been chasing after before? Uh, I, I don't know. It, um, it had a, a pale white face with, um, like silver, like the metal going down like a, a line down its face something like that it wasn't... yes like that <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry i forgot you can't hear the voices in my head a little speech bubble <laughs> pops up with tam with him like this <laughs> like but it wasn't golden no no not at all it was a silver line silver. or a split oh a split like tikaros it didn't resemble the Minotaur we found before. But it resembles Tikaros. And you kind of see Vara just fall into thought for a minute. And while Vara is in thought, I'm going to move back over to Ariana. <laughs> so, Ariana, uh, this creature has lowered its spear towards you, and you are pretty sure you heard a growl. Don't wish to fight you. I have helped. What, sorry, Chris has forgotten. These are called reborn. Returned. Returned. I have helped the return before. I will help you in your endeavors as long as our interests align. But I need to know what those are. I don't wish to hurt anyone. But she's she's her hand is hovering near her sword, but very much in a I won't pull mine if you don't pull yours. <laughs> now he's going to kind of edge over. He is completely ignoring anything else around, but is focused on you and the 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 creature at your feet. And he's going to move where the spear is close enough that he could probably you know lunge forward and jab you with it but yep. he's staying a bit out of your range as he's going to navigate around and he's going to make his way over to where the mask fell and pick it up. Okay. And now that he's closer, you get a better view. And you know what? Give me a perception check. Sure. Um, 16. You, you've got a, you're familiar with this body shape before because you've been around it. Um, he seems, he reminds you of a Leonin, but he's shaved off all of his fur. Interesting. Hmm. And I'm going to give you one other thing. In what remains of the moonlight, as you are looking at him, something's different about his mask. Yes, it's a gold mask. It's made like the others. But you could have sworn you saw light glint off of an eyeball. Oh, interesting. I'm, uh, may I... Um use my divine sense again of course 
does he ping at all? No, the creature at your feet does as an undead. Interesting. Just as undead? Just as undead. Whoa. Is Tikaro still in view? Can I turn to look that way? Well, she, yeah, she's not exactly in view, but uh, she said she was hiding and she's still okay. not visible. So. <laughs> so they're, okay. I was, is, is, the, is the infant in full cover? I'll leave that to Tikaro. She said she was going to, so. Yeah, I was, I, yeah, last round I tucked the, I was trying to hide the infant in my person and then I'm still invisible. So I was like creeping off into the bushes to just hide and I'm just going to be laser focused on this, but you won't be able to see me. Okay. I was just going to, I was, I was going to train my divine sense on the child. So if I, if it's not within, if it's, if it has full cover, then it doesn't matter. Regardless. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, uh, I know you're not one of them. Obviously, you are working together. A lot of people have been hurt in what we think is this person's endeavors, which may have been yours. And I just don't want to see anybody get hurt. He is just misguided. He's hurt no one. Uh, she's going to take a look down. Can she actually see his feet now, now that he's tied up? Um, sure. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, very humanoid feet. Okay, interesting. Huh. What has he done that was misguided? He's a lost soul. He longs for his children that he had in life. I would not have let him take the child far. He would have lost interest soon and been confused about what to do, and I would have taken the child back. Where is the child from? We will take him for you. Some village outside of Meletus. You give me your word that he won't take I any more children? I give you nothing! No need to shout. We're having a friendly conversation. She's going to very slowly pull her sword and set it on the ground. Grab the returned, put him up on his feet, and untie him. And send him back. We're looking for someone who looks like him but would leave hooved prints. There are many deaths on their hands. And we just want to stop. If you are looking for the Minotaurs, they are fighting on the other side of the bay. He is just a harmless returned. Understand, we helped one find presumably your groupings, similar masks and everything. We, we have no quarrel with the returned. He's going to hand the mask back and make sure it gets on his face, but he's still holding the spear one-handed pointed towards you. Understand. She's still, she's still like holding her hands. Like she put her sword down and is holding her hands up. My friend, as the child, you have my word that it will be returned safely. I have other friends here, and as I said, there are goings on. I'm not sure how familiar you are with what's happened in Akros, what happened in Melitus. I neither know nor care. You may not care now but this is something that will affect everyone. If you do not have information for me, I understand, and you are free to leave. I will not pursue. I will not take any action against you. And he is going to take his friend, who now that he has his mask back on and he's been freed, is looking around the area. 
No. Not this child. Come. And he's going to take him off into the woods, backing away from you, holding the spear out towards you the whole time. Yeah. She'll take a step away from her sword so that she can't, she couldn't easily get it. And if you're just going to watch for a bit, they will disappear into the woods. Yeah. Oh, Minotaur's fighting. Where's Adrastos? Uh, Tigros. Ariana. Ariana. I'm coming out of the bushes. What do we do with this? Child. This came from a village outside of Melitus. So it's coming with us. It's coming with us. Isn't it coming with us? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that creature? I saw hoof prints at the bay and then saw them and I thought it was our guy. But they've said that there was a, there's minotaurs in the area fighting on the other side of the bay. I am wary of going that direction now with and with Adrastos. Well, at least we know we're warned. Yes. Let's uh, let's head back to the ship. I don't know if um, did you let Adrastos know we were running? I did. I thought of that this time. Very good. Very well done. Uh, are you good with that? Would you like me to carry it? No, I love this. This is novel. Are you good with, you good with that? Would you like me to carry it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Tikaros is just going to play with it and like make funny faces as we start walking back to It's, it's back still to very ship. tightly bound in this uh, whatever it was being carried in, so. You have this little face peeping out. Yeah. Amazing. I love it. Um, oh, uh, I'm going to turn my divine sense on it now that I can see it. It appears normal. Nothing, nothing, nothing triggers your senses. Oh, okay. All right. Let's Continuing go. Continuing on. We will head back towards the boat. Yeah. All right. Very good. So you'll make your way back to the boat. And uh, what is the other group doing now that you have collected uh, the blood of this unknown entity? Or the dried blood leftovers, whatever you want to call it. Grassos is going to keep looking for Ariana and Tikaros. And he'll say, I, I can't leave until I know they're safe. Oh, yeah, that's true. We never found them. You should. Um, you can head back to the boat if you want. I think I can handle it. And Agrios is partially injured, but. Oh, I'm fine. He says eight out of 30 hit points remaining. Agrios, go back to the boat. Yeah, I should have made him a little more defensive. You guys did 67 points of damage to this guy. Nice. Well, he got one he got safe. one he got one attack in. <laughs> <laughs> and then you beat the stuffings out of him. Love it. Good Literally. Stuff. And that was only two of the A team and Vara yeah. at top. <laughs> See, this is why we have Excellent. to stick together, guys. Vara Excellent. kicks him butt though. Vara yeah. kicks some serious ass. Vara well, fucking done. Ass. Yeah. Yay. Win for Vara. Um, Agrios, you can't see in the dark and you're injured. Go back to the boat. Uh, all right. I thought you wanted to talk to me, though. I do. We'll talk on the boat when, we're, when everyone is safe. Fine. I'll go back to the boat. Thank you. turns around and trots away a little well with a little bit of a limp um i'm not sure how close we are in proximity but ariana probably may like does little whistles um that could be you know if you're not a survivalist could be mistaken for birds 
Um, but just, just little ones because she knows that Adrastos was out looking for them. So she's probably, without alerting everyone in the area, trying to make it known that they are over here. Also, we have history. So we probably do have a communication system. Something, yeah, something just little like that. I, it, I think it, that makes that makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. Laura, you can return with Agrios to make sure he goes back or stay with me. It's entirely up to you. You were incredible, by the oh. way. I have never seen you unleash spells of that magnitude. It is amazing. I am... Um... I don't know. I try to. I wouldn't say I'm a pacifist necessarily, but I try to avoid that. But the last few times we've gotten into trouble, um, haven't gone well. So I guess I'll be doing this more often. Well, I'm grateful to have you at my side rather than against me. That's for sure. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I'm quite curious, so I, I'll stick with you, and uh, that'll give Agrios and Prime maybe some time to, to chat, since yes. they've been getting to know each other better. Good. Good. Help. Come along, then, Captain. Will do. And then I will, I'm assuming, hear one of the whistles. Okay, absolutely. There they are. So you make your way to them, and after a few minutes, because you were obviously far enough away that you couldn't hear each other's fights <laughs> going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of running. Probably take a little while, at least. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you you eventually find each other. And uh, yes, Tikaros is carrying a bundle. Yeah, she's kind of, kind of, uh, yeah, just carrying it, and occasionally going. Oh, baby, baby, baby. And just like doing little pressed digitation, like little musical notes, like little lullaby notes as she walks back to the ship. Did you find what you were chasing? Uh, somewhat. We have an extra crew member. I see that. Well, Tekro seems happy enough with it. <laughs> we should get back to the boat. We need rest. Agreed. We'll, uh, Tell you our tale if you tell us. Did did I did Adrastos or Vara take any damage or was it just Agrios? Just Agrios. Agrios something. Yeah. You guys shitting on me today, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Not just, what I meant. You I just tend it that to way. be on the front line, my dear. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say you. Uh, you you I face checked too. it, man. That's, yeah, you, that you, just you makes dealt me, listen. That just makes me a tank. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm just taking it for the rest of you guys. You're just good at your job. That's all. <laughs> you you exactly. know, it, it, it's usually me. So I'm glad it's not. This time. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the guy who ran in first. You know. Yeah. Did uh, you guys run into something, or did Agrio stay on the boat? Agrios is headed back to the boat. Let's walk and talk. Wonderful. Uh, we will recap the things that we have seen. Okay. Icarus, as you are walking along and your attention is so devoted on this child, as has happened before, you get, it's almost like a waking dream. You have a view of something and you have a memory that comes across of holding another child sometime in your past. And you, you envision that this child was placed into your arms by Tavi. And for a moment, as that memory fades and you are looking into the face of this child, the child's face appears Leonin to you for just a moment. Is that, I stare at it, is that something I can grasp with my memory, or is it just fuzzy like everything else it's, in my it's world? It's on the edge, but you realize you have held a child before and felt, this is, this is my child, Avi brought to me, my child. 
but then you're back here. I quietly, in that moment, will just hide a few tears that kind of spring out of nowhere and just hope that no one can see. I'll just put my head down and just keep going, baby, baby. And keep walking. I got to do it. You hear a voice in your head for a moment. A very pained and just hurt voice. It will be all right. Serenity. Do I recognize the voice? Yes. It's it's pained, it's gravelly. But it's Tavi. Using all of my willpower, I'll speak back. I'll just use my telepathic, although I can't see anything, I'll use my telepathic ability as I've learned to and just go, find me. Find me, Tavi. And you will hear one last thing that fades away. You're already on your way. That has made Kraz the player a little emotional, Tam. So she will, Tikaros will just, again, steal herself, little tiny tears, and then just compose so nobody else sees what she's going through. She's going to keep this secret to herself for now. Very good. So eventually you will all make your way back to the, the ship back to the area where you first began chasing uh, this thing. And uh, a little kindness here. Ariana, as you are looking around as you come back, you realize there's more than one set of tracks here. Ooh. They're mixed in very closely, but it's possible that each of you were chasing something that had been there that night. Maybe that's what split the group. Adrastos, um, is it common for Leonin to shave their hair, their fur. Quite the opposite. I thought. Shave and Leonin are exiles, whether self-imposed or exiled by their clan, or those that have lost their clan. I almost undertook the ritual myself when the Sun Claws were destroyed, but I wanted the one who did it to see me as I was, the last sun claw. On that note, there are apparently minotaurs fighting on the far side of the bay, which I think is the direction we're going. That is correct. I feel you should prepare yourself. Um, Adrastos's hands clench until like his claws are making his palms bleed and he says if they are in our path I will fight them but I will not allow myself to be distracted we need to do this for Tikaros and Tully yep. put a, a hand right on the meat of his shoulder and, give and him he a shakes it squeeze. off okay <laughs>
don't know. She'll head towards the water, trying to figure out how. Why did you ask about a shaven Leonin? Or did you tell him? I don't know. She I, she may okay. not have mentioned. Um, I don't think you've actually told him anymore. You just asked that question. Yeah. I recall. Um, the cloaked, I should probably said cloaked figures. Um, the cloaked figure that collected the returned appeared from what I could see to have the figure of a Leonin, but did not have fur. Which, if they are associating with the returned, it is possible that they were exiled or, like you said, self imposed. You could see nothing else. I saw eyes glint beneath the mask. That was all. Very well. move towards the water and try to figure out how to get the baby over. <laughs> yes, how are you going to get that baby on board? Push. You're going to put a little, make a little sign to go on the back baby of on the board. Baby on board. <laughs> uh, so how heavy is my shield? The bit float. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not a matter of weight. It's a matter of displacement and buoyancy. Yeah. So, so if I swim with my hands under the shield. Absolutely. I see no reason why not. It could. Okay. It could I will that put child. the shield in the water and say, Ticarus, I'll give it back when we get to the boat. I promise. You see Ticarus looks up at you. And I don't know if you can notice her little tears. Hopefully you can't. But I'm going to say for the sake of your storytelling that I can't. <laughs> I've got, I don't got dark vision. I can't see anything. <laughs> With that gift, Tikaros will look at the shield and look at you and say, actually, address us. I've got it this time. He'll give her a little smile and say, all right then, put a shield back on his back and start to swim across. And she's dropped invisibility by this point. And obviously, and she's going to try another new thing that has just begun coursing through her veins this morning. And she's going to clasp her necklace, cradling the child, and she will whisper, secrets I find, secrets high. And she'll just lift off the ground and start to fly slowly towards the boat in front of everybody. Why couldn't we have done that before? It was in a tree, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, I fell in a tree. <laughs> she looks back at you. I'm working this out as I go. <laughs> I don't know how this works. <laughs> don't at me. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh my God, yes. So with all of you back on board the boat, Prime is going to uh, take note of the, the bloody, the injured... <laughs> But, but healed up some, and the new child that Tikaros is carrying around. Um, is there an explanation for the child? Yes, Prime. We've got a very important mission. I hope you can help us with this. I think you can. This child we found, a returned, had taken it. It didn't know any better. And we now have to return it to a village outside of Malatus. So we got to look after it. Can you help? There are many villages outside of Melitus. Can we narrow it down some? That's a good point, Ariana. You're a better detective than me. Did you get any other clues? Unfortunately, that was all the figure had said was from some town outside of Melitus. Um, I suppose we can ask in the first place we get to if they've seen any if anyone's missing a child i would assume they would send out word we're still a few days out so they we're, we're a few days out by walking distance right um you're a few days 
yeah definitely definitely across land you'd be a couple of days out uh okay, by so by river you're about by by river you're about a day out from the bay and then it'd be about half a day sail north to reach the okay. dock of Melitus. cool um yes it, it's must have been a couple of days since it's been taken so i'm sure word has spread it shouldn't be that hard one would hope to find a stolen child's family oh, um i think maybe we should untie it it looks a little tightly bound here oh good good idea you probably have a lot of good baby knowledge I'll speak um, and unwrap at the same time. None practical. Only, only from reading. I was oh, always that's... taught to swaddle tight, but well, swaddle perhaps they need a little release. <laughs> <laughs> and as you unbind this child, a red cloth, which was wrapped up inside of it, falls out into the ground. Oh. I'll pick it up and hand it to address this. <laughs> address this is experiencing complex emotions and it is making <laughs> his player unable to speak. <laughs> address this <laughs> experiencing a 404 error. Um, <laughs> Oh, Dress us cannot Dress respond. Us not found. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Dress us not found. Um. He's yeah. He. That, that's what's happening. He's just holding it. Address Does the cloth look dyed in the in the specific way that my give plan me, would have died. Give me a perception check with advantage. Uh, you're, 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 you're. Dice be nice. Yep, because please don't fail this one. You can oh fail it. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! Frankendice, you are going in a place of honor for the week. Uh, 22. 22. Not only is this dyed in the fashion that you are familiar with, you recognize this particular cloth. Because you and your pride mate your friend had exchanged these when you were young. Drastos is now the one trying to hide his tears as he grips it. And he walks to Ariana and says, Ariana, where was he headed? The shaven Leonin, where was he going? You've muted your mic. <laughs> I can see Ariana. Just, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, she'll she'll try to direct him whatever just whether he went north, south, whatever. Captain, I can no longer travel with this party. I'm afraid I need to find this creature. I have to. I cannot ask any of you to go on this journey with me, but I have to know. Ariana's already over the side of the ship. Yeah. Like hanging on the mast, like waiting for you. I won't go without your leave, Captain. No, address us. No. We're a they clan now. They haven't gotten far. Drastos. You heard me speak of my father and how he found me. I, of, of course, we are going to support you in finding what you need to find. All right, then. It's. I'm going to look at Tigris as I say this because we shared that moment in our watch. It's Eremos. I think he's alive. 
Oh, address us. Oh, I hope so. We'll find out. Where do we need to go, Meltis? That direction, and I'll point yeah. in the general direction that Ari pointed. <laughs> I don't know uh, if it's faster to go by boat or on foot. Oh, most definitely by boat. Um, well, were they, were they going inland? Like the general direction would be towards the bay. So okay. the direction you're headed down the river. Perfect. Oh, wonderful. Okay, good. Then, <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Everyone get some rest and be good to go in the morning. How far, of course, does this take us from Tavi? Well, I guess I mean, theoretically. You, sorry, go ahead, Dan. If you're going down the river, it's still the same direction. So once yeah, you exactly. get there, uh, you have to make a choice. Are you going to Melitus or are you going across the bay? Are you skirting the bay? It all depends on how you want to get there. Okay. Um. Cool, but for the most part, we're still going to be the general. We're not like going all the way back up north again. Okay. Um. Yeah. Great. I'll kind of look to Tikaros real quick, and because I know that we're headed to Tavi, which mostly deals with her, so I kind of want to check in and you're you're good as a clan to to do this first before we head to Tavi. Or uh, I think. Something tells me that we're on our way, and I think it's all connected. This is all fine. All right. Thank you for checking. I would, I would be a bad captain otherwise, but yes, of course. All right. Uh, get some rest, everyone. Like Adrasso said, we'll continue course in the morning. Agrius, are you still? hurt oh um yes. sorry there's a baby i do care about you very immensely no um, it's fine <laughs> just it's caught fine. up in the child <laughs> <laughs> i was i i didn't want to interrupt everything that was happening but i was like ariana's gonna yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Ag agrios pretty much has been just sort of sitting somewhere nursing his wounds um while well, you've all been nursing a baby it's <laughs> I just have a picture of Igrio sitting here with his leg up with, like a cat. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I could see it. He's probably done that before. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm on it. <laughs> well, hold on. That's, that's, just, that's just crazy. <laughs> that's silly. That's silliness. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah, Ariana will come inspect. Uh, and you can take um, 11 plus yeah, I had this open spellcasting modifier which for paladins is charisma um, so mm -hmm. that's plus six. Uh, so that's 17 healing uh, are you still Ooh. pretty rough uh, no I'm only missing 5 HP now okay cool um, I'll give oh. you 5 from my lay on hands as well oh thanks no problem so you only made it a couple of hours into your long rest. It is moving on in tonight because you've done a lot of traipsing into the woods and back. What is your plan for the rest of the evening? So basically uh, midnight till early morning at this point. I do still want to talk to Agrios at some mm -hmm. point before we before the day goes over. Sure. But sure. Other than that, I don't have a plan. Okay. <laughs> Ariana probably sees Adrastos wanting to come over and she's just gonna like lean in close to Agrios while she's like doing her last lay on hands. Be gentle with him. When am I not? Be delicate with him. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. I is Adrastos going to hang on to the baby during this discussion, or does he need someone to look after it? Well, he only you, you didn't have the baby. Yeah, no, no, the, 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 the ribbon. Yeah, Tikaros mm -hmm. is being 
kind of protective in a weird Perfect. way that you've never seen before. So she will have the child. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All I have is the the ribbon. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So is there any other business or am I on the spot here? Uh, well, uh, everybody else is about the ship. I guess you two will be alone on the, uh, the deck. So feel free. You know, Agrius, mm -hmm. I hope you will take this as the compliment it is intended, but you are the bravest fool I've ever met. Well, if you tell me it is a compliment, how else can I take it? Well, I know we don't always see eye to eye, and your association with Minotaurs may have in another life put us as enemies, but I just, I haven't composed myself as a warrior or clan mate of the standing worthy of this crew and this family. And I've been making the rounds and making my apologies, but I seem to have always missed you. You were always with Prime or making your rituals to Mogus, and I never wanted to interrupt you, but to be willing to have the faith to pray to your God in the middle of the ocean takes either an extraordinary amount of stupidity or an incredible amount of faith. And I know for our time together, you are not stupid. But I wanted to apologize for the way I acted when you completed the ritual. I was foolhardy and perhaps let the responsibilities that Var laid on my shoulders weigh too heavily. It was born of concern, but it was expressed in a, a poor way, so I apologize. Well, I'll be honest with you, Adrastos. I don't even remember what you said. Um, I don't give a damn about your apologies. I'm not so soft-skinned that I'd get bruised. Just by that, if you were angry at me, that's fine. I, uh, I respect your strength, as I always have. Not only of your physical form, but your spirit. I, uh, my devotion to my faith, um, Stupidity or not, it comes from past experiences. For a long time, faith was all I had. Now I suppose I have all of you, but uh, I suppose I have been slow to join in on this family thing. My past experiences with family haven't turned out very well. So I suppose I also owe you an apology if I have not been very open, very trusting. If I still... you said I'm not so soft-skinned as to need your apology. You've been... You've been the brother I expected you to be when I gave you the cloth. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Standoffish, for sure, but I never doubted your devotion, or, as you said, your strength of spirit. I cannot speak to your family's past, but if I do one thing for you, Agrios, I hope it's to change your mind about families. And I'll put my hand on his shoulder. 
because I'm honored to have you as my brother. And I hope I don't change your mind about that. He reaches up and puts a hand on his shoulder as well. All right, I think that's enough sentiment for one night, Pat Pat. <laughs> <laughs> You initiated this conversation. I know what I did. Already so <laughs> uncomfortable. It's not discomfort. You have a reputation to uphold. And I'd hate to sully that. <laughs> well. Yes, I suppose that's true. If I carry on like this, though, I expect my reputation may change. Certainly not for the worse. Hmm. Well, you know, they started calling me Agrios for a reason. Feral wild man. Wandering half crazed. Speaking about the bloodlust of Mogus. You know, there are times when feral strength are needed. I wonder sometimes if I had more of a heart for it myself, my clan would still be alive. That sort of strength tends to strain plans more than bolster them, I'm afraid, in my experience. Well, to quote an ancient warrior that was, I have heard oft quoted before, I put a lot of stock in honor and chivalry. But a great warrior is rumored to have said once, walk to the middle of a battlefield and ask the ghosts if honor matters, and their silence will be your answer. I do like that one. I shall have to remember it. Well, perhaps in the days to come, I will use your brand of strength. But maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> that would be a sight to see. <laughs> Wouldn't it, though? Get some rest, brother. I will see you tomorrow. Indeed. Something don't get woken up by the baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to that point, Tikros will be annoying the <laughs> heck out of Prime. Prime, I'm not going to do this by myself. You are going to help me with your theoretical knowledge of babies, and we're going to get through this night with long rests intact. Very well. Have you fed the child? Not yet. What should we give it? Well, from what I've read in the past, most, most mothers will breastfeed. Oh, that's not going to work. We need an alternative. Oh. Well, uh, maybe we could ask uh, some of one of the others if they would be willing. Sure. You put me in this spot. Actually, I'm just going to make the best of it. <laughs> yeah. Are Ariana's secretly been a wet nurse this entire time? <laughs> Honestly, she might as well be at this point. <laughs> she mothers everybody else. Why not? Yeah. Var is Ariana! a fish. I don't think that it works. <laughs> anyway, uh, in all seriousness, uh, Prime will uh, note that this is a child of, of at least 18 months and should be able to eat some solid foods. But we should be careful about what we feed them. Probably not the lobster. That's shellfish allergy. <laughs> Avoid that. Yeah, actually, I'm really sick of lobster too, so maybe we can make something soft and kind of nice. Mm. Really. Mash vegetables. That's I have a good, good berries. <gasps> Good berries! Cut them in half, otherwise the baby would choke. Correct. 
that is what we do. I was going to say, how, how many people on this screen have either had children or done first aid for <laughs> babysitting? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Second. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah but this is tika ross we're talking about she's she's trying her best but yeah ariana probably has some kind of protein powder mix that can work as pablum (laughs) oh i love it just make a protein shake out of berries and protein powder get some oats well you said they're they're 18 months they're eating it's probably eating um, oh i found these strawberries and honey maybe we no just delicious never feed an 18 month old Strawberries no. and honey, it's bad for them. That was just a bad go. joke. Let it yep. go. <laughs> and pasteurized yeah. milk, only pasteurized. Yeah. Honey is what, like a botulism? Yeah. Thing what or if it only comes up to your chin? Hmm? You said pasteurized. What if it only comes oh. up to your chin? <laughs> <laughs> only if it's Old pasteurized. Joke. Yeah, yeah. Good. Get out. <laughs> we, so have honey, re- honey we have reached that of point of the evening. <laughs> yes, evidently. <laughs> so good. Uh, um, yes, we'll we'll figure out some kind of eating. I'm sure we can manage to feed excellent. it. Um, the rest of the evening passes fairly quietly. Nothing uh, horrible occurs on the watches. When morning comes bright and early, however, Ariana, you get that signal that you have a message on the sending stone. You know, this I'm as a DM, I got to make a comment here. I've read the Sending Stone spell and Sending many times. There is nothing in it that mentions punctuation. So I've always said, should I, should I deliver the message with punctuation or not? So. Oh, just like I'm a going, bad YouTube post. I'm going not. So here we go. Smart. <clears throat> you left impression in data. Counselors from Melitus inquire about Anvil Rot Companion. Unhappy, wants status report, suggests stop Melitus, heading upriver with Ristos. Okay. And I can, um, I am happy to post that in chat for you as well. I am not expecting you to just take what I just dribbled off. Oh, no, no, I, I, I got it. Quickly. It's, it's the, um, uh, what's his knuckles is down in data. They're asking about prime. Um, they want to know what we're up to, and then they're heading up river. What's his knuckles? <laughs> what's I'm still dying yeah, that, over that's that what one. I, that's what made me laugh. I was like, what's his knuckles? <laughs> I, mean, never, I say that all the time, but I can't remember people's names. It's, it's either what's I his nuts or what's it. his knuckles. I'm stealing it. <laughs> Good. Uh, please do. Uh, <laughs> spread it far and wide. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So um, let's see. Is, did, has Bubo found us? He's on the mast. Okay, he, he has been here. I wasn't. Thing. I knew he yeah. had like left, and I wasn't sure if he made it back or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he's been back. Fabulous. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we're gonna say met some impediments. Um, almost. At Melitus, uh, will send Owl to counselors with update on crime. Is there anything else we need to tell them? Uh, because we told him. We were going to the 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 priests. We told we were going to Tavi, correct? And that's where they're yes. expecting us to go. Okay. Yes. We'll need to make minor detour on way to Tavi. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well done. Very good. On our way to blank. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. All right. So the morning comes. uh, Do you set sail or what is your plan? 
yeah, I think, I think we're off, right? Yeah. Vara mm -hmm. is like very impatient. She'll wake up very early and like, all right, now that we're not to, not to be rude to Tikaros and Tavi, that's very important to her too, but Adrastos has recently been close to her heart. So now that, <laughs> now that Adrastos has something going on, she's like, all right, we got to get going. Wake up. Oh. Adrastos is also up. Adrastos is, it is the Theros version of, I've made coffee for everyone. Everyone wake up. I've already tied <laughs> on down the ropes and everything. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, I hate mornings. Prime comes up and his eyes that are normally blue has a have a red line underneath them and you know the black <laughs> very nice ariana who is usually the first one up is like genuinely surprised that adrastos <laughs> is up before her look man prime is going to prime is going to spend the evening making some clothing for the child Nice. The last 14 years thinking this dude was dead. Of course I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> valid. Very That's valid. better than any coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cool. Actually, I need to recheck my backstory. It might have been longer than that. <laughs> That's about we what I was any... calculating it as. So. Yeah. Please tell me we have something for breakfast other than fucking lobster. <laughs> um, we, we, won't, we won't tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we did, but we used it last night to make some uh, vegetables and such for the child. So I'm afraid all we have for you this morning is lobster. Mm -hmm. Can I have one of my protein shakes addressed? We can maybe bring down some seagulls. <laughs> mm, chicken of the sea. We Wait. just can't kill albatrosses. <laughs> I've never tried baby before. <laughs> Agree us. That genuinely no. surprises me, Agrius. I wasn't serious. <laughs> of course he's tried baby before. <laughs> but I, I, I like that there was a second where like everyone on the crew was just like, does he mean it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, as you travel the rest of the day, making your journey down the river, Eventually, the river begins to widen a bit more, uh, begins to slow in its current some, and you begin to pick up the scent of seawater as you are leaving the fresh water of the river. As you exit towards the mouth of the river, you can see in the distance towers of Melitus to the north. You can see there are ship masts off in the distance, too far away to see the ships, but you can at least make out that there are ships, more ships out along that way. And I think that's where we will stop for this evening. <laughs>